lots of sunshine out there as we go through our Thursday afternoon. You see your sky scan, satellite and radar. A few showers are showing up over towards the Continental Divide, and these are showing up nicely as we look at our Buena Vista camera looking off to the west. At least the clouds attached to them are showing up as we look back towards the Collegiate Peaks. Much darker there than it is in other areas around southern Colorado where there's more sunshine, especially along to the east of Interstate 25. When you put the projected satellite and radar in motion with the sky cast, you notice that it does show quite a few showers along and west of the interstate. There won't be quite the number of showers that is indicated there, but there will be an isolated shower. Even a rumble of thunder can't be ruled out as we go through our Thursday night and into our early Friday morning. Lows tonight with the fewer clouds are going to be dropping down into the middle to upper 50s. There's still plenty of moisture around, so watch out for some patchy fog tomorrow morning. 54 in the Springs, 57 in Pueblo, 59 at Canyon City, 30s and 40s up in the mountains, near 50 in Salida as we drop down to only 49. 59 for La Junta, mid to upper 50s are going to be pretty common in the plains. As we look at our skycast now through our Friday, we see more of those showers pop up by Friday afternoon. A fairly typical pattern, but once again, the numbers and the intensity of the showers and storms that we're going to see is not going to be anywhere near as high as what we have seen over the previous few days. A Street and Abbott Lane, that mix of sun and clouds with more sunshine is what we're seeing as we look back towards downtown Colorado Springs. 68 degrees the current temperature, winds out of the east at 6 miles per hour. Around the rest of the region, 70 in Colorado Springs, 74 in Pueblo, 73 at La Junta, 74 in Canyon City, 60s and 70s are what we're seeing in the mountains, 75 at Slida and also at Alamosa. Lower to middle 70s in the plains, even some upper 60s around. So temperature's pretty uniform this afternoon. Not the usual spreads that you see when you go through the summertime months here. No mid 90s in the plains today. Instead, we're sitting in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Spring seven day forecast high temperatures are going to rise up into the upper 80s to lower 90s. So as the rain chances, Rob and Rana, go down, the temperatures as we go through the next seven days are going to go up into the lower 90s. That's going to be happening on Sunday and Monday. Then we see lows drop back into the upper 50s and lower 60s, and they drop back those those uh, temperatures do as the rain chances go back up Tuesday, th Wednesday, Thursday. Level seven day forecast, you'll push 100 by Monday, 99. So, what do you want? What do you want? You want the rain or you want the heat? <laughs> yeah. get, uh, turns out we're going to get both, actually, in this forecast in places like the Springs and also in Teller County. Lows are going to be sitting in the lower to middle 60s. Canyon City, seven day forecast, high temperatures, middle 90s by Monday and Tuesday, dropping back to the lower to middle 90s by Wednesday and Thursday, with a chance for those showers and storms around mid 60s for the lows. Teller County, seven day forecast, high temperatures make their way back to 80 degrees by Monday. And there will be chances for showers and storms here every day, but it's all scattered pop up stuff, not unusual for the monsoon season when you see these scattered pop up showers and storms in the afternoon. Temperatures lower to middle 50s for the lows. Don't forget about Weather Call. It was a great resource to have yesterday. I got several buzzes on my phone thanks to Weather Call. You can get Weather Call at home or Weather Call to go. You see the prices there on your screen. We call you when the weather turns severe and how to get it. Well, you go to KRDO.com slash weather slash weather call. Great resource to have when you're out on the road, especially. Absolutely, especially with all the severe weather we've mm -hmm. had for the, this past week, Definitely. but a good chance for this weekend for things to dry out. There will be. So we're going to see much smaller chances of rain, but warmer temperatures. And I'm sure we'll get sick of the heat by, by the <laughs> end of that stretch.